Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean Fields and the Jimmy Master Animatronics and this is a video of the Jimmy animated Travis the Trout. Travis the Seeding Fish or whatever. <laughs> um, it was made along with the Big Mouth Billy Bass. I think it was made like a year later or something because, you know, Billy Bass was such a big success, success so they had to make more Seeding Fish characters. Um, so yeah, the, the, this is Travis Trout. Um, he's on like a rock plaque and... Uh, you know, uh, this one I got at a thrift shop back in 2005. My very first one, none of these are my very first ones. My very first one does not exist. The deal was that one stopped working and I had to throw it away in order to keep this one. My parents were trying to teach me, like, not to be a hoarder or whatever, something like that. <laughs> but that didn't work, obviously, because, yeah... <laughs> Um, anyways, we, um, the first one we found at a rummage sale, hmm, bat, oh yeah, I, Travis the Trout was my first singing fish. Big Mouth Billy Bass was not. I got, my dad got home from work one day, took me to a rummage sale and said they had singing fish. And they had two Travis Trouts, brand new in the box, and a cool catfish. And he let me pick one, and I picked the Travis Trout. And, um, yeah, it worked great. It was... It was very cool, um, but later on as the years went by, I think at first, like, the gear ended up splitting, uh, then I think it stopped working for batteries, and then it, it just stopped working for an adapter, and I think the adapter slot went on the inside or something, because we had to tape the adapter thing in the slot, and we didn't know how to fix things back then, so, like, it just got thrown away. And I found this one at a thrift shop, and I was happy. But this one's fried now, too. His head doesn't work. The gear was always split in this one, even when I found it. But I was still happy to have one, again, that actually sane. But this one's sound is fried. It It's very quiet, and it's because I plugged in a 12-volt accidentally once. So, and this one actually is the most well detailed out of all of these. Like, look, it's very dark. So I'm not sure if, like, well, these ones, actually one of these did come with a box. Um, I don't know if this is, like, a second generation or a later model or early model because these ones came in the regular box. There are some that come in, like, a box where you can actually try them. But this, these ones came in the, the regular box. And you see, this one's like this one's top is like black. These ones are like kind of green, and they're they're all three of them look kind of different. This one's got a spot on its tail here. I think that's just something that was sticking to its tail for a while. I don't think that's actually part of the design. Anyways, I got these two off eBay because I wanted a new Travis Trout that actually worked. This one, I believe, one of these had a split gear, and one of them have not needed fixing yet. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you. They've seen two songs, um, Rock the Boat and a parody of another song or something like Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, here we go. Okay, I'll show this one. That's the one that had the split gear. This one makes uh, ticking noises in the tail. Sometimes. I think. Oh, no, maybe that was this one.
This is this is the one that had the split gear. This is the one that made the ticky noise in the tail. But it didn't it wasn't doing that though. Um, Travis the Trout and Cool Catfish and the uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. and the fish that they're still making for the 15 year editions, um, they have like, they're, it's one gearbox that controls the head and the tail. It's a motor that spins two separate directions. Um, Big Mouth Billy Bass has two different gearboxes, one for the tail and one for the head. And here's this one. This one's tail works the best, but yeah, like I said, it's fried, so it... It's important that when these are in action and their head's lifting up, you don't put your arm in front of them or anything. Um, because there's a whistle piece in there that will break. And that's why this one's head doesn't work. That whistle piece is broken. And that's how Big Mouth Billy Bass Jr. broke. I accidentally had my hand in front of him. His head went up and it broke the whistle piece. And I didn't know what was, what was broken in it at the time. It just ended up getting thrown away. And I didn't even if it was broken, I wouldn't have known how to fix it. So... These ones are are fra a lot more fragile than the uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass designed ones. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that was Travis the Trout, another scene of fish made by Jimmy. Um, there, they did make Christmas editions as well, um, and these are pretty common too. They're always on eBay as well, and you can find them for cheap prices too. So they're not something that's really rare either. I mean, they're not as common to find as the big mouth Billy basses at like grown shells or thrift shops, but they're on eBay all the time. So yeah. Anyways, I think that's it for this review. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and bye.